and welcome to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies. The Groupies are going to help us develop great art habits. The Groupie that we're going to be working with today is Elvis. Elvis is an art Groupie that envisions. He uses his imagination and he always asks himself, what if? And he tries to imagine all the different possibilities that he could do to make his art better. So Elvis and Envision. The famous artist that we're going to be working with today is Wosley Kandinsky, one of my favorite abstract artists. He was inspired by music and created art that displayed how he heard the music. He was born in Russia in 1866. He's considered an abstract artist. And one of the books that I highly recommend is The Noisy Paint Box. The Noisy Paint Box has beautiful illustrations and really talks about Wosley Kandinsky from childhood to adulthood. And I highly recommend this book, The Noisy Paint Box. Now to begin your Wosley Kandinsky, I recommend that you use different shapes from around the house. He liked to use geometric shapes along with organic shapes. You could use something like a Clorox wipes container to make some circles. You could also use if you have a, a nice jar, um, maybe that could be used for another size circle. I use this jar for my water, for my watercolor paints. You could also use a glue container. He liked to overlap shapes. He liked to repeat shapes. You could use this side for a big circle and you could use the middle one for a small circle. Like I said, he liked to repeat. Oops, that one doesn't look so well. There we go. Whenever you're using a pencil, try to go lightly so you can erase and it doesn't interfere with your drawing. I'm going to repeat this shape again. Maybe do a better job this time with my smaller circle. If you don't have a ruler, you can find something in the house um, that has a nice straight edge. I have this uh, fantastic candy bar that I'm going to use. make it a little longer. Just line it back up. He liked to have shapes intersect in his compositions. He always wanted to try to create balance. So he would use shapes in his art to create balance. So whatever was happening on one side was kind of happening on the other. Maybe not with the same exact shapes, but something along the same lines to give the same feeling of balance. So here I'm using a Crayola box to make a nice rectangle. You could also make some organic shapes. He loved his organic shapes in his art. And he liked to repeat them. His art was always very musical. It seemed to be inspired by music. It makes you want to listen to music while you look at his art. It's almost like you can hear the music. His father and mother wanted him to be a lawyer. So when he got older, he went to law school, became a lawyer, but then he went and visited an exhibit, and the exhibit was showing the work of 
Claude Monet. And when he saw Claude Monet's artwork, he was inspired, especially by the haystacks, one of his famous paintings. And when he saw that painting, that's when he knew and decided, I am not going to be an artist anymore. I'm going to become an artist. So he gave up law school or being a lawyer and became a full-time artist. Now, when he painted his pictures, it was almost as if he had value right underneath or next to the color. So if I would use marker and I colored a shape, I would use a lighter color or a lighter value of the color to create that value that Kandinsky seemed to have around his shapes. A lot of his shapes were flat and bold, not too much three-dimensional shadowing going on, but maybe the small little value around his shapes made him have a feeling of three-dimensional. So I showed here with some marker and we can also use colored pencils. I think my favorite material to use in this project would perhaps be um, pastels. But I wanted to give you an idea if you didn't have pastels at home how you could use colored pencils and markers to show some value in your Kandinsky abstract piece of art. Again, like I said, he likes to overlap shapes and have shapes intersect with one another. Like to use value and create a sense of balance in his artwork. So here are some ideas that you could use with marker and some examples with colored pencils. This is the one I started with earlier using pastels. Now what's cool about pastels is you can use Q-tips. You can also use cotton balls or tissues to blend the color around the shapes to give that value. So for example, if I were to color in one of my geometric circles, deep red. could also use the lighter color pink, a tint of red to finish off that value. And then I could use a Q-tip to smear that color to give another sense of value around the shape. Kind of what you would see in Kandinsky's art. It always remind me of a sound from an instrument that you would see that would continue carrying on almost like vibrating. His artwork seemed to vibrate as well. His colors were always so amazing and beautiful. Again, using that Q-tip to blend some colors around the edges. When he first became an artist, he really could draw the human figure with perfection. It was beautiful very realistic, but as he got older, his art started to change, and that figure in his art was harder and harder to recognize, and that's when he really started to change and become more of an abstract artist. I'm going to blend in some of these blues here in my circle. 
create a new color. Use that Q-tip. I'm going to tap my paper to get the little pieces of pastel off. Blend my color. You can blend your color inside the shape too, not just around the shape. Gives it another sense of color and value. Maybe blend a darker color over here by coloring it lightly. Gives a different feel. His use of black, dark lines through his art almost gave me a feel of drumsticks or the percussion part of his music that he was listening to. He always had a lot of black lines. Sometimes they were straight, sometimes they were not. So, Wasley Kandinsky, one of my favorite abstract artists, inspiration was his music that he listened to. When he heard certain sounds, he would see different colors, and when he s saw different colors, he would hear different sounds. So Wasley Kandinsky. And our art groupie for the lesson was Elvis. Imagine the possibilities of what you can create and the colors you could combine. Thank you, and have a great time creating. Can't wait to see your... Wasley Kandinsky's